shop local and everybody wins. This week's bonus business of the week. Ingram's Candy Store. Scott, how are you doing, man? I'm great. How about yourself? Oh, we're doing fine. Yeah. We are in the sweetest store in town, in the candy Absolutely. room here, and it's just hard to concentrate, but we're going to do it. Uh, you have candy, candy, candy. Old style candy, new style candy, but more to it this holiday season. You have a lot of holiday gift ideas here. We have assortment boxes of the chocolates all ready to go. Grab and go, it's really quick. I call this the stocking stuffer store because uh, it's the greatest stocking stuffer store. I mean, it's just so much fun. I have so many unique items that you won't find elsewhere. Of course, I have my my self-serve gummy bar. I have uh, Jelly Belly. I have over 50 flavors of taffy. Um, just it goes on and on and on. Now we had an opportunity, Bob and I, on live KTRF radio mm -hmm. this week to uh, to try a, a candy that you provided for us. I did. And yes. it was very interesting. A treat. A treat. From Ingram's Candy Store. Ingram's Candy Store. And uh, this is Alamo Candy Company, the great taste of Texas, made in San Antonio. <sighs> oh, uh, okay. Sour pickle? Balls? Sour pickle balls, deliciously seasoned with a little kick. That's the uh, outside. Uh, and there are other tasty treats uh, from this company as well. You grab one and pass the package uh, this direction. Yeah, all right. Who's all going to be involved with this? Uh, Dustin Dustin from the sales yeah, department. Dustin is, can try uh, one here. Yep, uh, how, if we've, how many pieces are in there? We, there have, we have three. Okay. So that's it. Okay. Last time I sampled something on the air, tasted Here. something in the air, on the air, was Lutefisk. Here. Well, this is not Lutefisk. I can uh, guarantee that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to maybe, okay. well, we'll see. Well, the, okay. So the uh, the texture, obviously, they're green. They are, they're soft. Uh, Dustin's and not looking they're good. They're soft. They're soft. They smell like pickles. Is that what that is? Yeah. Yeah. No pickle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Smell like pickles. Okay, yeah, I'm a pickle I'll, fan. I don't know. <laughs> and of course, all I have is coffee. <laughs> oh my! I must have got the one with the kick to it. I did too. Oh, oh gosh, Dustin. Uh, oh. Um, mm. I'm not sure what that was or is. Mm. Oh. oh, okay. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> oh, that's got more than a little kick. Oh, my. I apologize ahead of time if something bad comes out of my mouth. And I'm not just talking words. I don't have oh. even, it's mm, yeah. You got, your tongue's green, Terry. Oh, no. Now the reviews. Bob? I would, I would certainly buy that for, as a joke present for somebody. But I will never put that in my mouth again. <laughs> I do have to say that the dill pickle part of it is good. I do like that. But that kick, that kick came out of Nowhere. somewhere. Mm. And I don't know. Uh, yeah, that kick, who man. I sh if I would have known this, I would have brought a toothbrush to work. I had no idea it was going to be that, <sighs> that much of a kick. Because it said on the package, a little kick. Uh, evidently, uh, somebody's definition of a little kick is a lot different than mine. Oh, yeah, my. Well. But you know something? It, uh, it's uh, not that bad tasting. Of the of the uh, thousand of delicious candy choices, that's the one we got. <laughs> From Ingram's <laughs> Good candy point. store. <laughs> that candy room itself must have 5,000, it seems like. We should have something to cleanse the palate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Whew. And again, don't drink coffee with one of your uh, sour pickle balls. Ooh. Oh boy! Don't Am wipe, I melting? Don't wipe your mouth. <laughs> Anybody got a mint? My taste buds are still trying to recuperate. <laughs> yeah, those are the uh, sour pickle balls. It's made by Alamo Candy Company, and comes out of Texas. And. Uh, People that really, really like sour, this is the ultimate challenge to see whether or not you can 
whether you can handle those. So the taste uh, was pretty right on. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, there's so many different flavors of certain things. I mean, you know, dill pickle um, taffy. I mean, it tastes just like dill pickle. Um, so these companies, you know, the Jelly Belly too. They're so good at really bringing out the flavor of what you know they want, what they want to be, and it's uh, it's actually truly amazing. So we are in the holiday season. Uh, and of course, uh, you're going to have holiday hours to, uh, to accommodate shoppers. I'm open uh, 10 to uh, 6, Monday through Friday, 10 to 5 Saturdays. I'm always open on Sundays, 11 to 4. I am open on Christmas Eve, uh, probably about 9 to 4 or so, depending on the business. But I will be here. It never gets old for people. Candy is right at the top of the mountain, isn't it? It really is. It's, uh, it's such a fun business. And, and the smiles that are on people's faces when they come in and then when they leave, they're even bigger and it's just, uh, you know, I can't can't say enough about how fun this business is. You carry balloons, you've got stuffed animals, uh, greeting cards, yeah, more than just candy. Absolutely, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, if you wanna come in and get a gift for somebody, you really can kind of make it a one-stop shop, you know, especially for a child. Plus we have gift certificates available in any amount and, uh, Man, you put those in one of the, in the kids' hands and they are like just so excited and it's all business when they walk in with those. And you have bacon soda. I do have bacon soda. Um, one of those items I won't recommend unless you buy it for somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetest store in town. It absolutely is. Our business of the week, shop local and everybody wins, Ingram's Candy Store. Merry Christmas.